Hi. I wanted to make a quick video just to show you how to use the Limera template that's attached. Um, you'll find it in the links below the video. Basically, this is a 18 um, rotary layout, and the goal with this was to kind of combine the coolness of uh, an endless fader with the idea of being able to have more precise control over the value that you're adjusting. So basically, with each one of these 16 uh, rotaries, you've got a scale tab, and what that lets you do, currently it's at 1, right? So it means that one rotation brings you from 0 to 127. But what the scale uh, lets you do is adjust how many rotations it's going to take for your value to actually go up to 127. If you bring it all the way up to 5, uh, well, actually, let's start down at 2. So as you can see now, if you go from 0 all the way around once, now you're only halfway to 127. So now it's going to take you two full rounds to get to 127. That means you've got a lot more precision over the value that you're adjusting. Now if we bring it all the way up to 5, you can see it's even much, much finer uh, adjustment. And depending on what you're doing, it can be hard to get something just right. And having this control, um, I thought was useful. So I kind of made it for myself, but I thought I'd post the link out there in case anyone else finds this useful. Um, these are all separate, of course, so each one can have its own scale um, as you decide to use these different knobs for different things. Um, you probably noticed by now, but the number right here is shown back on the knob tab in a just a very dark color, kind of out of view, but just there to let you know that that's the scale that the uh, particular uh, knob is currently set to. Um, Okay, so that's the Lemur side of how to use it. Uh, now I'll show you how to actually. Now I'll show you how to use Osculator with it first, um, and then after that I'll show you how to customize it for your own for your own use. So over here on the left side we've got Osculator open. I'm just going to go ahead and delete all the events. Um, the only thing that sends a signal to Osculator is the actual knob value. So here I'll go ahead and touch um, all 18 of the knobs real quick. You'll see them appearing in Osculator as I do this. Alright, so you've got 18 knobs, and um, here it says knob 1, knob 2, knob 3, so these are kind of permanent labels. In a few minutes I'll show you, you can just change these labels here if you want to customize what they say on the interface. Uh, but then this is the label you can refer to if you want to know which OSC message you should be assigning to what um, MIDI CC number, uh, based on what you're trying to do. So, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos on Osculator, then you know all you need to do is basically choose MIDI CC and then choose the MIDI number based on whatever's written in your manual for your device. Alright, so now let's look at uh, Lemur and I'll show you just real quick how to customize this for yourself. Basically, each one has a label and it's very easy just to edit the label right here. Um, if you want to know a little bit more, more you know, behind the scenes of how this actually works, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail because it might be boring for some of you, but basically there's a minimum value and a maximum value that's specified here in the background and the maximum value is based on the scale rotary, which is this guy right here. And uh, based on that range, there's an offset of 0 0.5 because by default, these endless rotaries, 0 is actually down at the bottom, so I offset it by 0.5 just to make the 0 be up at the top. Um, basically, every frame that Limer calculates, it's performing this reset x function, and that's just saying that, look, if it goes beyond its its value, then just limit it to that maximum value. And if it goes below the minimum value, just limit it to that minimum value. So that's what um, that's what you see here when it gets to this maximum, you know, all the way up to 127, and then it, it continues to go around, but when you let go, you see that it's actually stopped at 127. Uh, so that's where that comes from. Uh, let's see, the send, so as you can see, this is actually the value that's getting sent to Osculator, not the raw uh, not the raw x value of the knob, but the the x send value is what's getting sent here. And that's working by basically just um, dividing the current value of x. Of course, this is adjusted for the 0 0.5 offset based on that little uh, quirk in Lemur, but um, basically it's x divided by the maximum, which is just scaling whatever, ma uh, whatever range you've got set based on the maximum, like say 0 to 5, it's scaling it down to 0 to 1 range. So that's what this function does. Clamp takes this value and it maps it onto a range between this value and this value. Um, so if we have a number, say, 4, then it's going to map the number 4 down to whatever uh, the 4 out of 5 ratio equivalent would be out of 1, which is, what, 80%. Uh,
Yeah, so 0 0.8. Alright, that's probably more detail than you care to know. And most people probably stopped watching the video before now. But uh, anyway, hope you find it useful. This is just for your use. Thanks.